Hey guys, Silversaurus here, and welcome to another video. So, today we have a little unboxing, unpackaging rather. Uh, it actually came in two packages, I've just slipped them both into here for ease of, uh, well, unwrapping on camera. So, we have two little bits of gold and five little bits of silver. Uh, two of the little bits of silver are not for me, but um, I'll just show you quickly while it's all still here. Uh, so we have, go silver first shall we? We have five 100 gram silver bars. Uh, these are printed with hoard hoard bars very uh, shiny finish on those um, and yeah these are like I say 100 gram so we've got five of those uh, like I say two are for somebody else uh, the rest are for me let's uh, just pop a couple more open if we can Bear with me one second. Oh, here we are. Let's uh, carefully whip these open. I thought they were just wrapped, but they're like stuck inside the bubble wrap. Okay. Well, can't fault the secure packaging at least. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we have five of those, five 100 gram bars, so half a kilo, and then uh, the next two pieces of gold. Uh, so we have a half sovereign, not full sovereign, it's a half on this, uh, and we have a tenth ounce Krugerrand. So when I saw the price on these, they're second hand, um, this, the two pieces of gold are from Hatton, uh, Hatton Garden Metals. When I saw the price, I had to double, do a double take. The premium was incredibly low. And uh, I got in before this little spike we just had recently. Uh, so this is 1982, one tenth ounce Krug. Very nice. So, if you see my uh, other videos, you might have seen I have two of these already, and that therefore means I now have three of these tenth ounce Krugrands. And you'll also notice I have seven other tenth ounce coins, mostly uh, Britannias, but there are some others. I think, um, in fact, I can't remember. So that means I now have a full ounce of one tenths. So 10 one tenths, uh, which is pretty cool. I've been sat on nine for a while. <laughs> um, so obviously it's nice to hit a round number like 10. Um, and then, yeah, you'll also notice this half sovereign. Uh, I also have nine half sovereigns. So now this makes 10. Uh, and that is actually coincidentally the same year as the Krugerrand. Um, just show you them both together. I haven't got any other bits and pieces with me, so I can't show you uh, the half compared to a full, but the half sovereign are actually quite big in terms of the diameter for the weight of the coin. See, like the tenth there is quite small. Um, it's, you know, obviously smaller than the half. But the halves aren't half the size of the full sovereign, the thinner. So they have a you know a greater area. Uh, so that is today's unboxing. Uh, I do have a few other uh, videos coming up. Oops, a daisy, I thought that was gonna happen. Um, yeah, I do have a few other, sorry, I'm struggling with the focus today for some reason. I do have a few other videos coming up um, involving the Sovereigns, uh, something I mentioned on a, a recent video, it has finally happened, 
uh, just got around to sorting that out. Uh, so yeah, there's my third horde bar. Uh, like I say, the other two are not for me, so I'm going to give those away, so I will keep those wrapped up. Where's it gone? There it is. So yeah, not for me, but uh, these are my pickups. So there's a video out at the moment. A few people are doing the thousand pieces of gold. Uh, sorry, <laughs> a thousand pieces of silver challenge. I, I'm doing the thousand pieces of gold as well. Uh, I'm going to try and get a hundred first though. So the thousand pieces of silver challenge. Uh, most of my silver is in, you know, one ounce and things like this. But I did pick up, you know, a few bits and pieces like this is your American uh, constitutional or junk silver. Uh, and then I also picked up uh, a piece of Mexican junk silver seen here. Uh, what is that? Can't remember. Uh, and also a piece of Spanish junk silver, the 100 pesetas. So I think counting these two as pieces of silver is fair enough. But do we count do we count all these? Like two, four, five, uh, four, five, like these little dimes here. The tiny. You know, so anyway, I'll decide what I'm going to do with that. Um, most of my silver is one ounce coins and bars. So I know I'm nowhere near a thousand pieces. Uh, I must be over 300 ounces. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I'm over 300 ounces, but I'm not exactly sure what I've got in terms of silver. Uh, these pieces here, the dinosaur heads, they're not silver. They're just some sort of nickel, I guess. But uh, they're good for decoration, and until I find a silver version, I shall make do. So yeah, that is uh, today's video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Let me know if you are doing the thousand pieces of silver challenge, and let me know how many pieces you're on. Also, hundred pieces of gold challenge. Who's in there, and how many are you up to? Let me know down below.